Tired of. Here he comes. Looks kind of pumped up for this, doesn't he? New world champion it's going to be, that's for sure. It's a gang of Slovenia against Maidov of Serbia. And if you were a betting man, you wouldn't have uh, put your money on that as a final this morning. Slovenians will have put their hopes on Tina Turstanjak yesterday. And even, I don't know, you'd have to be, you know, super confident within your country to have put your money on Skank. But there he is. Anybody's matched this. And uh, I think uh, Maidov, like you say, just looked that little bit uh, more focused, more of an edge to him, but uh, you never know. Now he's got the sleeve. They've got nothing to lose, these two. They can just take it to each other. He was looking for the seeing Aggie there, wasn't he, straight away. Any result here is a massive achievement, but the gold is just beyond belief. Well, it will be, and Skank, of course, he must uh, play second fiddle to Kukolj all the time. Now looking for the double lapel. Is it going to happen? Well, the gripping, they've got all of their fingers taped up, but... I bet they'll be aching in the morning, these two. Aching but happy. Still, neither one of them put a big attack in yet. Yoko Tomanagi. Maidov there. Just committing. Just managed to break his balance. I think once that first half of the contest is out of the way, you'll see Maidov a step up a gear. That's been his um, modus in his, pre in his previous contests. Get in there, get comfortable, find out about the grips, and then say, okay, from here, I know I've got two minutes in me, let's go. I'm wondering if they're both gonna get it. Well, no, only Skank gets it for blocking out. So Mayadov is the one that they uh, think is trying to initiate. Thought we'd gone for the leg then. Well, neither one of these wants to take the chance. Talking to Ilias Iliadis yesterday, and he said, I just wish they'd take the chance, hope they take the chance, whoever it is. Drops in Aggie, no rotation. Maidov hasn't been able to uh, break Skank down yet to find an opening and really and really threaten him. That's all credits uh, Skank to having a good uh, a good defence, but it's because he's not moving him. Now they're starting to open up. I think Skank just got uh, a whiff of that. He knew that he, he might be in danger of getting penalised again. Yep, maybe he's feeling that change in the tempo from uh, Maidov and can't afford to fall behind. He doesn't want to pick up another penalty. Well, it's the first time that someone's looked as though they were in danger. Skank, however, lost contact with the hands and Maidov just sat down on his backside. 40-odd seconds left to go. Yeah, it was a nice Kouchi action reaction at its best. <laughs> 35 seconds left then in this final. 
under 90 kilograms. Makikomi this time from Skank. And now is that going to be? Is it Already, across the face? Yeah. It was across the face. <laughs> Already spotted by the referee. This will be the first ever gold medal for Slovenia in the men's, that's for sure. First ever for Serbia. Never before have they got a gold medal in the World Championships. The golden score. So a tight match, straight on with it. That's the referee just wants them to get on with it and this is whoever wants it most. Now Mayadov out the area. It's going to be a penalty for Mayadov. Mayadov gets the penalty. Now starting to open up. This could go either way, couldn't it? Absolutely. Finely balanced contest, <laughs> to say the least. I oh, ducked underneath. He ducked underneath. Referee, I'll stop this and he'll have a little look here. Video referee to see who actually initiated that duck under. Doesn't look happy about it, does he, that Maidoff? He knows where this one is going. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Uh, I'm not sure who ducked under there, actually, to be quite honest. Zank. And he thinks Duck Tunder. Maidov wins it. He's the world champion. Well, we're lucky to have in the venue the big screen. We were talking about the whistles and the, and the booze. We've got a, a few of them because they haven't seen uh, the, the, the replay yet. Once the replay goes up, it becomes clear why the penalty has been given. They haven't done that yet. The two fighters are done. They're dusted. They're happy with it. Could have gone either way. They're having a nice conversation. They're OK. And it's when the fighter is in the middle and there's no controversy that the crowd kind of quiets and said, well, OK, they're OK with it, so yeah. why, why aren't we? But up on the big screen, they'll see it. And we'll show you at home to that last piece of action. We've got a few highlights from the contest and then we'll be back with more medal matches. Well, they have a world champion and I wonder whether they thought that would happen at the beginning of the day. And even if they did, they probably thought it was going to be Alexander Kukolia. Well, Kukolia, <laughs> yeah, is, it was the obvious favourite, wasn't he? And uh, it came with their, their other one, their, their reserve, his training partner. He's the world champion. Kukolia must be absolutely devastated in the uh, training hall. He'll be pleased for his teammate, but uh, I can tell you it will, uh, he'll wish it was him. <laughs> Well, you know, you, he, that's just being honest. Yeah. It's an honest assessment, but, you know, it's not that he doesn't wish him well. What if he's hanging around down at the far end of the competition hall waiting for him to come out as well? I mean, that would be something. It would. And let's hope that uh, that's how it is. But uh, anyway... <laughs> disappointment went into great. Here we go. So this is how it happened. 
think they both ducked under, actually. <laughs> Is that it? Is that what we're going to see? Nobody could see it there, really, properly. And they're going to slow it down in slow motion. No, they're not. Anyway, Mayadov wins it. A little bit disappointed with that. You wanted more, didn't you? Yeah, and, um, you know, we get a flood of, you know, 